Hey guys, this is LazyMax05, and today we're going to show you how to make professional looking gunshots with Sony Vegas 10. Okay, so what you're going to start with in making your gunshot effect is a clip of you doing your shot. That's your stock footage. So you're going to find your gunshot picture and find them on the internet in lots of places. We use ours from Action Essentials and Action Essentials 2 pack and you're gonna put that on top in a layer above the video of you shooting. Now you're gonna find the frame right when your wrist comes back to where the gunshot starts basically. You're gonna lay the clip there, you're gonna find your chroma key, blue screen, add it to your gunshot picture, pick your color from screen, and you're gonna find the color black take out the color black and adjust the settings in the blue screen uh, toolbar till you have the effect you want just enough to where it looks smooth and be sure to turn the quality up because sometimes it leaves behind black lines around the picture so change that changing up levels and that seems to look good so you find the frame where that comes in, and now you're going to event pan and crop your picture of the gunshot and move it to the front of the gun. Some people make them small like this, which isn't right. You want people to notice the gunshot. Trust me, when it's large, it looks better. So you're going to keep it like this, put it towards the front of the muzzle, not away from the muzzle, on it. Keep the flash right where you want it, and now you're going to cut this to a single frame and then that's your single frame where the gunshot comes on then if you want to get more advanced with it and add the flash effect you're going to right click on your track copy paste it in the level above it and then if you want to you can get rid of the audio and you're gonna go over to your compositing mode click add compositing mode add instead of source alpha it's gonna be all bright like this and as well as adding f for the three frames during that gunshot you will add a fade coming back towards the front or fade out so now you're gonna go into your pan and crop go to your mask tool on the first frame. Now you're going to click on the anchor tool. You're going to use this anchor tool to draw on parts of your body that would be lit up definitely by the gunshot. So part of your chest, your face, some of your hand, and other objects in the environment that would light up. Once you feel good about the mask, you're going to click on your masks, every single one. You're going to turn the feathering up to a point where it looks like this you turn it up it gives it a lighted effect see here's what it looks like normally so now you're gonna do that to all of your masks till they all look smooth and now you can start to see the effect taking place with the gunshot so after we've got all of these done, you're going to go into keyframing and frame by frame select, right click on the mask, say select, path, and change each frame where the uh, gunshot lighting is going to go. And you only have to change this for the two frames after your first one. And here's what that looks like nice and smooth the gunshot lighting with the add is one final effect should look like this thanks for watching and if you like this video go look at our others and subscribe
If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up below and subscribe.